Hi, I'm Rosie from Made in Chelsea and I'm here in Poe's studio with the lovely Lauren and she's going to help me with the perfect makeup for a summer party. So it's like the beginning of wedding season. I've already got a stack of wedding invites to go to and everyone's always asking me for that perfect wedding guest or bridesmaid makeup. Have you got loads of weddings to go to this year? Lots of weddings, but also lots of just important summer parties. Yeah. And I think it's the kind of the same look that you need to go for. Definitely. And I think I can show you today a really great go-to look that will work for all those events. Amazing. So I have found the perfect palette for any occasion. Um, it's by Guerlain and it's the Sables palette. It's got some beautiful shades. The most important part with your eye makeup though is making sure that you've got a good primer on. I really, really love the NARS Pro Prime. It's just a sheer base that goes onto the eyes. It'll stop the eyeshadows from creasing. It'll make them easier to blend and it will just make your eyeshadow last all day and all night. So what I like to do is take a little bit of that on my ring finger and just apply that all over the lid right the way up to the brow bone. First thing I'm going to do is take this neutral sort of taupey colour on a large fluffy brush and then I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. And then on a flat brush I'm going to take the sort of pearly pink colour just there and I'm going to pop that on the inner part of your eye. And with a pressing motion rather than a sweeping motion, a lot of people tend to sweep over the eye but you won't get as much colour payoff and they'll all just end up falling on your cheek. So what I'm going to do to add maximum definition to Rosie's eyes is mix these two colours here, pop them on the back of my hand, and I'm using kind of a round fluffy brush, this is a 217 by MAC. And then all I'm going to do is just swirl this into the outer corner of the eye and carry it slightly into the socket line. So now what I really want to do, now I've got that lid colour going on, is add a little bit of subtle definition to the lower lashes. Um, and I'm going to use this brush here by MAC, it's called a 239. And I'm going to mix together these two colours here. And again, take it off on the back of my hand so we don't put too much product. And just with the tip of the brush, I'm just moving that backwards and forwards underneath the lower lash line. and blending it down as I go. So to take this look a little bit further, I want to give you even more definition in your lash line. But I want to keep it quite smudgy because I know like if you're nervous or in a rush, doing like a really precise feline flick can be so difficult. I have the shakiest hands too, it's just never it's works. fine, don't worry about it. Then just do a smudgy one, no yep. one would even know. And I picked a brown rather than a black because I think it will make your eyes look bluer and it's a little bit softer as well. I'm going to be applying this with my favourite eyeliner brush by Louise Constad. Again, onto the back of my hand. All I'm going to do is pop a thin line of that in at the roots of the lashes. Then you're going to need to work quite quickly to smudge this in. So I'm going to take the same brush as I used to apply the shadow to your bottom lash line and just work it backwards and forwards across the top of that eyeliner we've just applied. So now I'm going to put on some mascara to prep for the lashes. I've gone for the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Waterproof. I think if it's going to be a long day, particularly in the summer when it might be a little bit warmer, it's good to go for a waterproof mascara. What I'm going to do first of all is do your bottom lashes. If you start off with your bottom lashes, it's so much easier. Okay. And it's really important when you're putting on your mascara to fan out the lashes. So to make sure these ones go this way, these ones go this way, and these ones go this way. A bit like a ballerina skirt, then you get a really full flirty look to the lashes. And then with top lashes, the same principle. So I think the thing that will really complete this look is false lashes. Definitely. Do you normally wear false lashes? No, but for sort of big events, I think it's, it's nice. How do you find them to put on? Um, I struggle. Okay, I'm going to talk you through it. Honestly, it's okay. really easy. So I'm going to cut them in half right through the centre of the lash, which means then I have two lashes. If I take the lashes and put them on the back of my hand, take a tiny little bit of the gel liner that we used earlier and colour in the band of the lashes, because so often you can see it, whereas if you colour it in with the eyeliner, 
it really becomes invisible and blends into the lash line. So I've put a tiny little bit of glue on the back of my hand. My favourite glue for false eyelashes is duo glue. It lasts all day. And what I do is I put it on the back of the band of the lashes, just like this. Mm -hmm. And then you need to give it a few seconds for it to come tacky. If you put the lash on when the glue's too wet, it's going to slip and slide, and that's when you end up with your eyelash glue to the middle of your nose. So now I've got the glue on the lash and it's a little bit tacky, it's fine to pop it on. And it's just going to sit on the outer part of the lash, which makes it so much easier to put on, but also gives it a much more natural look. And I kind of slot it in like that. So I start like that and then push it right into the roots of the lashes and then make sure that the inner part is pushed into place. So now those lashes are in place and I've given them a couple of minutes to dry, I'm going to pop a little bit of mascara just on the tips of the lashes to help them blend in with Rosie's own lashes. And I just almost kiss it onto the end of the lashes so there's not too much product on there and then use my fingers just to pinch off any excess so they look really natural but give a little bit more definition. And the most important item in your makeup bag is your skincare. So what I've done with rosy skin, which is already really beautiful, is I've used a little bit of the Oskia Get Up and Glow Serum and just applied that all over. And then I'm going to use a little bit of primer just to make sure that the foundation stays in place. All you need is the tiniest little amount of this. And then just with a finger, I apply this just through the centre of the face. It will slightly mattify, but also give that really velvety finish. So for foundation, I've picked Armani Luminous Silk and I've mixed together a couple of shades to get the right shade for Rosie. This is a beautiful foundation for any event. It's got no SPF in it, so it won't flash back. If you're picking a foundation for a prom or a party or a wedding, then just make sure that you pick something with a really low SPF so you won't get that really ghostly appearance in flash photography. Now I've chosen a really loose fluffy brush to apply this foundation onto Rosie's skin. Rosie doesn't like a heavy coverage and this one by MAC will be perfect to give that really sheared out look. And I'm just using little circular motions to buff that onto the skin. So because we've gone for a slightly more dramatic eye, I think it's really important to make sure that everything's really clean underneath, which again is why we started with your eye makeup. So I've cleaned up underneath with a little bit of eye makeup remover and now I'm mixing together two concealers by MAC, it's Select Moisture Cover. And I'm getting that right into the inner corner and pulling it slightly down onto the cheek. It doesn't need to be anything too dramatic, just a little bit further down so that it blends in seamlessly with the foundation. And using this round fluffy brush to blend the product in will give a really nice natural appearance. This powder by Bare Minerals is their Mineral Veil and it's so lightweight, it's really finely milled but it just gives the softest appearance to the skin. It's kind of mattifying but still leaves a nice glow behind. And I'm using this Real Techniques, I think it's a blush brush but it works perfectly for powder. So now we've finished off with the skin and the eyes, I think it's time to move on to colour on the face. What would yeah. you normally pair with a look like this? So I think if I sort of I really want the focus to be on my eyes mm -hmm. so I think I just sort of not go too out there with the face and the yeah. cheeks but a, a little something to complement the Definitely. look. Definitely, you want to tie it together but you don't want it to yeah. be the focus. So I've picked products that have got a really nice sheer texture to them. Um, I've gone for NARS Laguna Bronzer which is one of my favourite bronzers when I just want to add a little bit of colour to the yeah. face and I'm going to ap apply that with the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt Brush. And I just like to swirl that in the product. And then I'm just going to hit this across the top of the cheekbone. So where you would tan naturally if you were out in the sun. But then also use it to give it a little bit of a contour because there's probably going to be flash photography going on. And it's also nice just to take it really softly through the hairline and down the centre of the nose. There's no harm with a little bit of contouring. Absolutely. So for blusher, I've picked this really beautiful colour by Bare Minerals, it's called the Faux Pas. I think, although it looks really scary in the pan, it's going to tie in really nicely with the eyes. And I'm using the same brush as I did with the bronzer, because I like it when the two products sort of mix together. And I just want that more on the apples of your cheeks, so just across here to give a really pretty flush. Given that we've gone for a really pretty blush look for Rosie, I thought it would tie in really nicely with um, a sort of nudie pink lip, and I've picked Tom Ford Spanish Pink. 
but I think you need a little bit of lip liner to go with it and this one is one of my favourites. It's called Staunchly Stylish by MAC. I've already prepped rosy zips with a little bit of 8 hour cream so I'm just going to go in now and just give the lips a tiny little bit of definition. Then I'm going to use the lipstick straight from the bullet. I think sometimes a lip brush can leave a really harsh line and we're going with something a little bit softer. So I'm just applying this straight to Rosie's mouth. So obviously this is a really luxurious lipstick, but there are some great budget alternatives on the high street. I love going into the drugstore and looking at lipsticks. Revlon do some really great ones, their lip butters would be perfect, or Rimmel do some beautiful lipsticks, and you'll be able to find a shade like this really easily. So I think with that lip on, you're ready to go to any type of party. Let's have a look. Oh, I love it, and the eye as well. Beautiful, isn't it? Nice and soft and diffused, really mm. just accentuates the features that you have. And it's nice and long wearing. We pick products that are going to last all day long. I can't wait to try it out at my next summer party. See you again next week for more beauty tips and tricks.